All right, so we got a 2014 Toyota Aqua here. Customer complaint is rough idle, hard start, and also um, this vehicle was in an accident, so they had to do some repairs. But upon getting the vehicle back, notice that they were in a serious, like loud rattling noise every time they start up. And also the check engine light is on. So took it to various shops, you know, the usual coils, plugs, all that good stuff. Trying to figure out what it is, but you know, customer kinda got frustrated with the situation, asked if I could check it out. Right, so came to see if I could diagnose it, right? Put the scan tool on, um, read data, look for codes. I got a P0171 code, which is system tool lean, right? Um so you had to ask yourself what could cause that. Anything from a faulty mass, airflow sensor, fuel delivery, or even a, I mean, a vacuum leak, right? So while we're on the hood, let's take a look and see what is needed or what we're getting based on the scan tool, um, data, or even just using you know, simple common sense, right? So start the vehicle up. Go ahead, step, mess on the, step on the X. Step, step on the X again. So you hear the vehicle, like, making a loud rattling noise and it's also vibrating heavily. Right, so as I said, based on what the the code saying, it's saying a P0171, right? So the first thing I would do is just check my fuel trim and, you know, just listen out and just look for any kind of vacuum leak. Right, so let's do a system scan on the ECU. See what we get. Oh, I'm getting this. Ignition on, is it? No. Oh, that's why. Right, so we got like, the ignition on. So let's do a quick scan and see what we get. First, before we start to diagnose this, as I said this vehicle was a slight accident, so I'm not sure what else was, you know. Oh man, no. let's read the code. So we're getting a P0171 system lean. Right bank one, let's come out of there. Let's go and read data. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna look for my fuel trim. I'm gonna look for my misfire counts. All right, so right now I'm 1.23 on my lambda and my misfire counts is saying zero so when to start the vehicle up and see what we get so i'm putting the vehicle in maintenance mode real quick so i can do my check yeah now the vehicle is rattling let's take a look at the misfire counts this graphic you see the misfire number one number what is that number two sorry but watch my fuel trim you know, 1.232, two, right? So I'm just gonna spray, like gently spray the hose. So I'm watching to see that drop. And you hear the idle of the vehicle is dropping off. So I'm just spraying in this area right here between in the two and three.
and I say I'm at least 35 percent which is max so it's, I'm definitely getting a meter here somewhere so let's start the vehicle up start again The vehicle is sounding really rough, bad, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm looking for a misfire counts again. Again. Step on the X. So I'm really putting a lot of fuel on that here. And if you look closely though, you see I'm getting a misfire number three. Slim. So let's take a look at this. Out of all the cylinder number three is gaining a high misfire count. So why is that? So we could do the simplest thing, swap coils, swap plugs, swap injectors. You know, it's kind of hard to check for compression on these vehicles because it's a hybrid, right? But um, the, the clue to this is is a lean condition so i am pulling on metered air somewhere to pump into the intake manifold to see if i see where the vacuum leaks is in this vehicle yeah so we're looking for any signs look seeing one right there switch it off so we got a crack on this hose right there and you can see Seeing some smoke coming from intake go again. Switch off. It's coming from right. Come on, zoom. Go ahead. Switch off. So if you can see that you gain a lot of smoke coming through this intake manifold from this hose area here and between cylinder number two and three again very stop so that is what the that is what's causing the misfire in this vehicle so we're going to replace this intake manifold so with the throttle body the map sensor the air duct and air filter remove and whatever those holes and Stuff that's connected to it. I'm gonna just get this manifold off, right, and see if I can just replace it with a used one for now, and hopefully solve this misfire. So we're just gonna pop off the old one and transfer the. The hose that belong to the that's going to the I believe this is a PCB solenoid and probably I'm gonna clean up the surface area real quick where the gasket is going and pop this back on start the vehicle up and that should be it we're gonna start the vehicle up after we replace the intake All right so go ahead start For some bonus footage, right? We're gonna just clear all the codes, scan, clear the codes, recheck our fuel trim, and yeah, and make sure that we fix this vehicle so we send the customer on their way. Thank you. 
You got inside the beaker, please? Let's see that we confirm our fix. Step on the X. Start again. Let's check our fuel trims. Also our misfire counters. Alright, step on the X. Alright, so call out a fix. Thanks for watching.